This week in Minecraft, we not only received the final Caves and Cliffs update snapshot, but we also got some information from a new dev diary which was actually posted to the official Minecraft YouTube channel. As you all may know by now, on November the 30th, the Caves and Cliffs update part 2, aka Minecraft 1.18, will be officially releasing, finally giving us access to the full catalogue of the Caves and Cliffs update features, apart from the Warden. So so with that being said everyone, let's dive into all of the information we received from this week in Minecraft. Now to begin, I want to talk about how we actually received our final ever snapshot for Minecraft 1.18. Just in case you are confused and you do not know what snapshots are or how they work, they're basically um, Java Edition's version of betas and they consist of three different layouts. There's a basic snapshot which Mojang add to the game to give us a look at some bug fixes or some new features they want us to look at. After that there is a pre-release, this is when the update's starting to get close to its release date and Mojang are done with all of the features they want to add to the game but they're still working on quite a few bugs. And finally there is the release candidate where Mojang believe that that specific snapshot could be the final ever version of that update, meaning if no issues are found in it that will be the final version of the update we play on and that's what we've been receiving over the past week. The final one we need to talk about though is the one we received on Friday the 26th of November, towards the end of this week. In the patch notes it was said we're now releasing the third and almost certainly last release candidate for the Caves and Cliffs update part 2. If there are no major issues following this release, no further changes will be done before the full release. Happy crafting. And the one bug fix in this pre-release was blocks losing their loot inside them after um, despawning. So obviously one change in this entire release candidate is quite significant and to me at least it indicates that this will most likely be the last version of 1.18 we receive. All in all, great news, the progress has come along swiftly on this update and as I said, I believe this is the final snapshot we will receive to do with the Caves and Cliffs update part 2. And all in all, the final snapshot we receive for the Caves and Cliffs update. As we know, this update has been a very long and drawn out process and we've been hearing about this for over a year now. So with this snapshot being done this could potentially wrap up the caves and cliffs saga but yeah with that being done let's move on to some information from Jay the Minecraft community manager where he actually released some very interesting information and it just gives us a good insight as to how the developers recommend to prepare or at least how they are preparing it says can't quite believe caves and cliffs part 2 is almost here I've been gathering some gear ready for the big release next week how are you preparing for the update? Hashtag screenshot Saturday. So yeah, in this week of snapshot Saturday, I guess, we got some inf interesting information from Jay as to how he at least is preparing for this update. And it seems he's going after some kind of an elytra or very well upgraded gear in the end, which is quite interesting. This would definitely be very useful for exploring all the new mountains and building a mountain top base but be sure you let me know down below in the comments how are you preparing for the caves and cliffs update part 2. Finally the most significant thing I believe is that this week we actually received our final dev diary from the Mojang team before the release of the caves and cliffs update part 2. This was posted on the official Minecraft Twitter account and it says you might think that developing Minecraft numbs some of your excitement to explore but nothing could be further from the truth. In case you missed it, take a look at the never ending splendour of Caves and Cliffs Part 2 in our latest dev diary. If you've not watched this video, I'll put a link down below in the description, but it just gives us a good insight as to how exciting this update is, even that the developers that have been working on it for the past year, they will not be bored when exploring this new updated train because of how amazing it is. Let's not forget, let's do a quick recap right before we get any further into the video. The 
Caves and Cliffs update part 2 is bringing along with it the new and completely revamped and overhauled terrain generation for Minecraft, so the new height limit, completely new mountains and multiple new cave biomes. Although we're not getting the warden or the deep dark, there's still a bunch of content to explore here. Can you imagine going from a very basic dumbed down version of Minecraft to a completely remastered version? That's basically what it feels like we are receiving. There's never really been an update like this to Minecraft and the most comparable one I can think of is the nether update. I believe this is the start of a new beginning for Mojang, we've never received an update on the scale of this. The amount of changes the Mojang team have been working on for the Caves and Cliffs update is insane and as I said I really believe this is going to be some kind of a new beginning for Mojang, converting from just adding a few simple new blocks and mobs all the way to completely revamping the game and bringing bringing it into the modern day. Be sure you let me know what you think of all this down below in the comments, but things are definitely starting to feel very close. As of when I'm uploading this video, it is Sunday the 28th of November 2021, so the end of the last week before the release of the Caves and Cliffs update part 2. My next instalment of this week in Minecraft will be talking all about what happened after the release of the Caves and Cliffs update and how things are progressing with the Minecraft world update, it's definitely a very exciting time to be a Minecraft player. Usually after the release of an update we have a huge downtime where there's not really much to talk about, whereas this year, this time round, we've got a bunch of things to go on about. We've not really had time to appreciate and focus on the world update because of the Caves and Cliffs update part 2, but once that's out of the way it will be a whole fresh start for all of us, so be sure to let me know what you think of all this down below in the comments everyone. Are you excited for the Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update part 2 or are you one of those people that are just let down by this update and cannot wait for the world update? Me personally I'm very excited to get this update out of the way so that we can focus on 1.19. That update has so much potential but it's been overshadowed so much by the Caves and Cliffs update part 2 so we're going to be covering it here on the channel, everything from its secret features that some people have managed to find all the way to speculation and what could be coming in the world update. There's going to be a ton more content about that coming up on the channel along with information videos about the latest snapshots and betas coming to the game of Minecraft. But if you made it this one to the video be sure you go down below right now and let me know what your favourite block in Minecraft is. It'd be very interesting to see. Personally I really like crying obsidian but be sure you let me know down below in the comments your favourite. It's been me G for everyone, have an amazing day and I'll see you all tomorrow, goodbye.